Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the hydrochloric acid corrosion, HCl corrosion. Description of damage Hydrochloric acid, aqueous HCl, causes both general and localized corrosion and is very aggressive to most common materials of construction across a wide range of concentrations. Damage in refineries is most often associated with dew point corrosion in which vapors containing water and hydrogen chloride condense from the overhead stream of a distillation, fractionation, or stripping tower. The first water droplets that condense can be highly acidic, low pH, and promote high corrosion rates. As illustrated in figure, example of acid corrosion, dew point corrosion, lead to local attack with grooves. Affected materials All common materials of construction used in refineries Critical factors HCl acid concentration, temperature, and alloy composition The severity of corrosion increases with increasing hydrochloric acid concentration and increasing temperature aqueous hydrochloric acid can form beneath deposits of ammonium chloride or amine hydrochloride salts in exchangers and piping carbon steel and low alloy steels are subject to excessive corrosion when exposed to any concentration of hydrochloric acid that produces a pH below about 4.5. 300 series and 400 series stainless steel are not usefully resistant to hydrochloric acid at any concentration or temperature. Alloy 400, titanium, and some other nickel-based alloys have good resistance to dilute hydrochloric acid in many refinery applications. Affected units or equipment Hydroprocessing units Crude units Catalytic reforming units Appearance or morphology of damage Carbon steel and low alloy steels Suffer uniform thinning, localized corrosion, or under deposit attack 300 series and 400 series stainless steel will often suffer pitting attack. And 300 series stainless steel may experience chloride stress corrosion cracking. If the temperature is sufficiently high. Prevention, mitigation. Well-maintained process monitoring locations are important for minimizing the effects of hydrochloric acid corrosion. Upgrading carbon steel to nickel-based alloys or titanium can reduce hydrochloric acid acid corrosion problems. Water wash can be added to quench the overhead stream and to help dilute the condensing hydrochloric acid concentration. In crude units various combinations of ammonia, neutralizing amines, 
and filming amines can be injected in the atmospheric tower overhead line before the water dew point in hydro processing carryover of water and chloride salts including neutralizing amine hydrochloride salts should be minimized in catalytic reforming special adsorbents in chloride beds and chloride treaters can be used to remove chlorides from the recycled hydrogen streams and from liquid hydrocarbon stream inspection and monitoring where applicable visual testing should be performed on all accessible components with the potential for hydrochloric acid corrosion ultrasonic testing thickness mapping including automated ultrasonic testing can be utilized to determine the extent of localized thinning Radiographic testing can be utilized to find or monitor localized thinning in piping components. Permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors can be used. The pH of the water in the boot of the atmospheric tower overhead accumulator should be checked regularly. Related mechanisms Ammonium chloride corrosion Chloride stress corrosion cracking and Aqueous organic acid corrosion Summary Description Hydrochloric acid, aqueous HCl causes both general and localized corrosion damage in refineries is most often associated with dew point corrosion the first water droplets that condense can be highly acidic low ph and promote high corrosion rates temperature range operation temperature affected metallurgy all common materials of construction used in refineries. Prevention. Well-maintained process monitoring locations. Water washing. Upgrading carbon steel to nickel-based alloys or titanium. Inspection methods. UT, RT. AUT and permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors. pH of the water should be checked regularly. Practice time. Question number one. The overhead stream from a crud atmospheric tower condenser with temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit begins begins to condensate water. It's hydrochloric acid corrosion, which the following would the best alloy. Answer is A. Question number two. Hydrochloric acid in 300 stainless steel may experience. Answer is A. Question number three. Carbon steel and low alloy steels are subject to excessive corrosion when exposed to any concentration of HCl acid that produces a pH. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile.
Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.